Hi, a quick presentation. This is a GPU rendering workstation. This workstation is based on three 2080 Super video cards. And those are not video cards, which are turbo cards. So they don't have turbine fan, they have standard free fans. Okay, so let's test how does this work. Well, we will use for this a heavy load benchmark for CPU. So we will know that the CPU is working properly. And here we have Ygrip Cruncher 6 and we will also run the benchmark which for this engine this workstation is built for okay so now we have our GPUs and our CPU we will now start benchmarking sorry we will now start benchmarking the CPU if you are familiar with this benchmark then Eager Cruncher is giving the best possible load for CPU there is no heavier benchmark for testing now we will run also a benchmark of Redshift. So now two rendering engines, uh, let's say rendering because uh, Eager Counter is not a rendering engine it's a mathematic engine and uh, they are both working at the same time as you can see our temperatures at video cards are about 60 degrees they will go as high as the highest will be 73 possibly uh, degrees of celsius Yes, the Vardar fans are, yes, they are a bit louder than any other fans in this build, but they are efficient. As you can see, we are running 4.6, 4.7 gigahertz at 10 cores, and we are having about 90 degrees max at some cores. So we are rendering on GPU and possibly rendering on CPU. And this station is built directly for Redshift. So any other thing that I have tested and I've tested it uh, fully with uh, Corona. V-Ray, Octane, V-Ray Next and uh, Redshift as I said uh, all the tests uh, have been made with all six different profiles from 4.4 GHz to 4.8 GHz and the best possible outcomes uh, of course not for CPU but for GPUs are at 4.7 gigahertz for this particular cpu and this 300 3200 megahertz ram the system is built using a modificated or modified uh, 
case. Well, I took out the plexi and put the mesh here because when we would have plexi here, all the hot air would be blowing on the plexi and gathering inside this box. So I wanted to avoid that. We will check inside. Okay, it's finishing. And the score during rendering on CPU is 3 minutes 31 seconds. Okay, we will close this down. Run GPU benchmark again. As you can hear, the case fans didn't get on lower RPMs because here is thermal sensor which is put behind the first card and due to that fact those fans are being stirred by this thermal sensor and this, those are three cards rendering right now as you can see this is the biggest fan we have two here one put it in the back to push the air between those three cards this one was lowered so I had to drill here to get better and lower position for this fan and uh, it makes a big difference because when the fan was too high so here it wasn't blowing between those two cards uh, if somebody is familiar with Phoenix MLC then you know that there is a bit of <laughs> this stuff missing here well uh, i had to take it out because putting this on on this side doesn't allow me to put all the hoses inside this case and also there is a thing that putting it to the other side didn't make it either <laughs> so the hoses are too big anyway so i have to cut them and replace uh, again the quick connects and uh, as we can see it works so yes this one is taking the air out this one is blowing under the radiator this one is blowing under radiator this one is blowing between and this one is blowing inside and between the cards so the cards are uh, been giving sufficient amount of air and they're running quite nicely because we can see that we have now 1950 megahertz uh, when the uh, producer says that the maximum uh, maximum clocks are 1845 megahertz on this card so yes i think this is a good score and also we don't have any problems with memory and the memory is running uh, 8900 megahertz so effectively this is uh, over uh, 1780 megahertz i don't know where we have how what was the score we can see the score so it was 3 minutes 33 seconds. So this is a typically standard score for this overclocking and that kind of uh, temperatures for those cards. The standard, full standard of those cards is about 3 minutes 50 seconds. So this is 30 
uh, almost 30 seconds less. So, well, yes, I'm creating stations that I really like sound of <laughs> because I hate this big noise, especially noise of uh, turbine carts. Those are not the best constructions <laughs> for having them in small office or at home. So that's why I chose to build the station with uh, cards like uh, those so standard free fund constructions and uh, uh, despite some even friends of mine were saying that uh, which are building computers too that it's almost impossible to have them running uh, without overheating after time well it is possible and uh, the possibility is here we can see that I was starting this uh, Redshift benchmark I think 12 times where is it? Uh, 12 times yes, yeah, so they will not be overheating they can go all the time with maximum temperature of 73 degrees of course there might be a better than higher demand uh, from uh, even from redshift but i think that uh, higher demand would give about three to maybe five degrees more it's not possible to be higher because this is the maximum temperature which was observed so yep it is possible to be built with non-turbo cards thank you very much for your attention have a nice day